Good evening and welcome to evening prayer. Um, I'm sat outside, the sun is setting, it's got that lovely yellow rosy glow about it and it's time to worship God. So if you're able, uh, please to sing along with me. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for this week. Thank you that you've been with us, our constant companion and our friend. Jesus, would you be with us now? Help us to know you with us now. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of
Sing that over yourself. I am no longer a slave to fear. I will not be frightened because I am your child. I will no longer be worried. I will trust you, Father. I will trust you that you will never leave me. I will trust you that the cross is enough to take my guilt and my shame. I will trust you that you rose again and sin has no hold on me. I will trust you that you rose again and this life is not all there is. I will rise to you. I will trust you that your promises are forever and ever and your blessings go from generation to generation. And I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of And I'm no longer a slave to fear. I have I need to stop because my fingers are frozen. So let's um, read the Bible and pray. Just get all that stuff that's in our hearts, all that stuff we're worried about, all that stuff that we're thinking through, and let's just give it to our Father in heaven who loves us. Right, order for night prayer. As you can see, it's getting darker. 
and darker and colder and colder. Let's read the Bible together. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness so that it might be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey. They seek food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how many are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both great and small. There go the ships, and there is that Levanic, Levanthan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open their hands and they are filled with good. Ah, when you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let's pray. It's Thursday night. We've just clapped for our carers and sung of your great goodness and glory. So we turn our worries into prayers. So Father God tonight, as this week we marked over a hundred people who love us and care for us died of coronavirus. Doctors and nurses and cleaners and delivery drivers, Uber drivers, taxi drivers, Father, we pray for their families as they grieve and their friends. We know that funerals aren't normal now. And we can't all go to all the funerals. But Father, we pray that people will be held in your arms as they die. That you would be there and that you would carry them through. Thank you for their work, for all they've given to this earth. We pray that you would hold their relatives. This time will pass. But Father, as we sit in this place of stress and confusion, we give that to you. And we just want to give you all those families who agree. Whose relatives worked for the NHS and who have suffered and died. And Father, we pray for all those who are working at home who are living through a pandemic and dealing with the stress of that, and then working from home and the stress of that. Father, would you give them strength? Would you ease their troubled minds? And we speak against that guilt that we are so quick to clothe ourselves in. Of, we should be doing more, we could do more, I'm not doing enough. We just take that off now, Father, and we give it to you. That guilt is not ours. Father, would you come for all those working at home? 
And Father, we pray for all those in our community who've lost their jobs through this outbreak. We pray, Father, you would give them their daily bread. Thank you for the people using St. James Building to prepare food and pack food for those who are vulnerable. But for those, Father, who've lost their jobs, who are feeling stressed and concerned and worried, we give them to you, Father. We know that you bless them. Blessed are those who are hungry. And so we give them to you. And Father, we pray for those for whom home is not a safe place. For those who are hurt at home. For children and adults who don't feel safe at home. Father, you are with the stricken. You are with those who are suffering. You are with those who are lonely. You are with those who are in pain. And you call them blessed. And so, Father, we give them to you. And we pray that you would help them find a way out and to take a way that gives them life. And we give them to you. And lastly, we pray for our leaders. For those with power to increase lockdown or to take it away. For those that look to have power over the economy. power over health. Father, the stress they carry and the responsible they carry is huge. And so we just give them to you. Help them to know that they are just wonderful. That they are made in your image and loved by you. And with your spirit, they can be strong. And so we give them to you. And Father, we give to you also those who are ill at the moment. Whether it's with COVID or cancer or flu or chest infections, broken limbs. We find our beginning and our end in you, Father. You made us and you know us. Father, we pray healing and release for all those amongst us and those we know who are suffering. And lastly, Father, we pray for the church, your body, your people. Thank you. For this time to reflect and to think. Thank you for this time to be a people who are loved by you and known by you. Thank you for this time where we can stop and reflect on the Monday to Saturday church life. When we know you with us. Where we can live counterculturally where we can know your presence and know your spirit and know your life in us. Father, equip us for this time. Make us more than we have ever been. Fill us with your strength and your courage and your creativity. May we reach out to our communities in a way we've not done before. May we see your power in a way we have not done before. Prepare us for the people who want to meet with you through this. Jesus, you are so lovely. And you gave your life. You gave your life that we would have freedom. In this place of not meeting together, Father, and let us never forget that the ultimate sacrifice is yours and not ours. 
And so you are able to hold all our stress. And so today, Father, we give it to you. Let's say that last little bit in evening prayer. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. And then because it's still Easter time, we say, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wing. Let's finish our prayers. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together in the language of your heart. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. May God bless you tonight. May his holy angels guard you and guide you as you sleep. And may he, you know his renewing power in your lives and bodies. Night, night, St. James. Much, much love.